Welcome back to Crystal Clear. I'm Osric Vox, and on the eve of Change Your Mind before the episode premiered, Cartoon Network hosted their first official Steve Universe AMA with storyboarders Lamar Abrams, Mickey Brewster, and creator Rebecca Sugar. Now, many of these questions were answered, and it's time for us to start digging into them. Starting with one that I found was very interesting. Reddit user Gravity Leap had a question from their little sister. If we encountered a Lepidolite, what would she be like? To which Rebecca Sugar responded, Lepidolite is purple, so she would have been created by blue and pink. Which leads me to believe that she would be thoughtful, intellectual, and passionate. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's way too much lore for one answer. Yes. After many years, Rebecca Sugar has confirmed two fan theories and one fell swoop. One, the theory that a gem's personality is influenced by their diamond. And two, the color of the gem, and by extension, once again the personality, is completely influenced by the diamonds who made them. Here they use an example of a gem we never seen before. But the fact a purple gem would have been made by blue and pink, and the personality would correlate, as yes, blue and pink at both have moments where they're thoughtful. Pink is very witty, very clever. We saw that by her staging her shattering. And blue diamond, of course, is very knowledgeable. And we already know pink diamond is passionate. But let's apply this to other gems. Jasper's would have been created by pink and yellow diamond. The Jasper we all know has quite the temper, which doesn't even need to be said, but that's a trait found in both yellow and pink. It also makes sense as to why Jasper went to yellow diamond. Jasper may have been in pink's court, but yellow in a way is still a parental guardian, so she would have had custody. Although that does explain why there are Jaspers and Carnelians in the zoo, but considering the main two we had to focus on were off color, perhaps yellow took a pass on them, but blue was willing to induct them. And of course, blue inherited the amethyst, as they too are purple, meaning they're created by blue and pink. Gems like Emerald, for the longest time, people were wondering, wait, is she under Yellow Diamond's court or Blue Diamond's court? A lot of fans even assumed she served both due to the palette of her insignia. Well, that may be the case. Emerald's green. So she would have been created by Yellow and Blue Diamond. The same assumably goes for Peridot. She's green. Although her hair gives her a significant amount of yellow as opposed to blue, Peridots can likely be found in both courts. What about gems like Bismuth, who has a light blue pigmentation, but rainbow hair? Do other businesses on Homeworld have rainbow hair? How was she created? Who's her diamond? Blue Diamond's core is mainly diplomatic gems. Bismuth doesn't really fit in that territory, so what's going on there? Considering business and homeworld seem to be more involved with colonies, erecting various structures, I actually assume gems like her, who sport a variety of colors, would have been made by all four diamonds. Going off business personality doesn't really narrow it down either. You can argue there's traits of yellow, there's traits of blue. You can debate there's traits of pink. Now we really didn't get that much screen time with white diamond, and none to how she behaved prior to pink diamond's death, so we can't really say if we spot any of those traits in bismuth, but white herself is every color. Perhaps gems like Bismuth are under White Diamond's court. If she even has one, there are implications, such as the end of Lux for the Homeworld, yet we didn't see a single gem who sported White's insignia. This also gives credence to the theory that our Pearl was created by all four diamonds as a gift to Pink, as she does sport Pink, White, Yellow, and Blue. And of course, this fits with the CMYK model. Although if you go off of that, the rubies also would have been a joint effort by yellow and pink. So I assume anything in the orange to red spectrum would have been pink and yellow. Like that red jade we saw. And yes, all of these are jades. Yeah, I know, not much variety in gems when they all look different, huh? But what do you guys think? Is this helpful in creating gem sonas? Do you have a better understanding of gems? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, or at Twitter to me at Oshervox, or at RoundtableVids. We're also on Instagram. Help the round to grow by either becoming a member of this channel or supporting us on Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, throw it a like and subscribe to the roundtable so you never miss any Steven content. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. You know, say I was a gem, brown skin, <gasps> I belong to pink, yellow, and blue?